Hey everyone, welcome back to Handmade. It's AV. Today we are making soap. Soap making can be kind of overwhelming, but the process that we're doing is called melt and pour. It is really straightforward. You melt and you pour. We are going to make three different bars using our lovely scents. Let's get started. First, what you want to do is get your melt and pour base. They come in tons of different types. They have honey base, shea butter base, and goat base, it's like the list goes on and on. Today, it's going to be shea butter. About each column is an ounce. So we're gonna use four ounces for our bars. Now, we're going to melt our soap base. I'm using a double boiler. Melt and pour soap is great for beginners because you do not need dedicated tools to do this project. Because the soap base is already cured, your tools will remain food safe. Now that our soap is melted, we are going to add some fragrance. Now, this is peppermint oil. I'm using about 20 to 22 drops. And that should be good for the amount of soap that we're using. I'm gonna slowly stir, folding it in. Ooh, this smells divine. Next, I'm going to add some color. I want it to be a light green, so I'm not gonna use too many drops. I have about three drops in there. Since it is a white base, it will give it a pastel color. So now that we have our color and our scent in there, I'm going to add, you know, the razzle dazzle. I have some dried mint leaves. Give it an extra oomph of, of scent and texture. And also I have some jasmine buds. So we're going to do the same. Fold it in. All right, now we are ready to pour. This smells great already. I'm going to let this sit until it's firm, preferably overnight, but in the meanwhile, we're gonna get ready for our next scent. Our next scent is lemongrass. So, you already know the drill. We're going to chop up our soap. Just gonna, like I said, make it into small pieces so it is easier to melt. Now, just like before, it goes in the double boiler. Now that our soap base is melted, we are going to add some lemongrass oil and some color. Did you know lemongrass oil is pretty good at repelling mosquitoes? Just saying. Okay, now that we have folded that in there, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. I don't want it to be too, you know, yellow because who wants a block of cheese for your soap? And then now I'm going to add the accoutrement, lemon slices. So I'm gonna put one in there. I'm going to let this set while we move on to our final scent. Lavenza, my favorite. You already know the drill. We're cutting our soap base. Lavender is so relaxing. I mean, you all know how I love lavender. It's great for, you know, calming, if you feel a little bit of anxiety, anxious. Now I'm going to add some lavender oil. Same 20 drops as usual. I mean, I, put, I might put 25 because I love lavender. All right, now that I've incorporated all the lavender oil, I'm going to add a couple of drops of purple. A friendly reminder, do not use food coloring or colors for candles. You don't want to do that. Ooh, this is such a pretty purple, but I want to add just like one more drop. Now I'm going to add a couple of lavender buds in there. I'm gonna also add a little bit to my mold. Mm -hmm. 
Now the only thing we have left to do is let these soaps set until they're firm. When your soaps are set, you can unmold them. Melt and pour soap, it is such a great gift. Who would you give it to? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.